So as I've started brewing more, I've been going through some of my older videos to look up how I did things, things in the past and which things I liked and didn't like. And some of the stuff I'm coming across is that I realized that the pectin enzyme video is my number one video. And re-watching it, I realized that the sound in that video was terrible and it really didn't show much. It was just a quick video of me showing in the difference between a couple different bottles. But I never really went into detail of what a difference it could make it doing the pectin enzyme at the beginning versus doing it when it racks versus not doing it at all. So tonight I'm going in to start three new gallons of cider. As you can see right now, all three are fairly clear. I've started uh, as I normally do where I start pouring in some of the a uh, little bit from each of the bottles across it just so I can make sure that all the apple juice is very much the same. But I know that it starts clear like this and I know that it will end up more like that in the end. And, but those all have pectin enzyme. Before I did pectin enzyme, they would re, were really cloudy, even with apple juice. So I'm gonna go and actually show what happens when one bottle is going to have pectin enzyme from the beginning, one will get pectin enzyme and when I'm in the, uh, uh, when I rack, and the third bottle won't get pectin enzyme at all. So I can show the difference of how Oh, the pectin enzyme actually works. And for all I know, pectin enzyme isn't doing anything for me. Uh, the only thing I can say is that once I started using it, my ciders became a lot more clear. So I believe it works, but I've never tried the tr side by side like this before. So this video is going to be a showing the difference. I'll try to get a, a, at least a photo, if not a, a little bit of video every day of showing the difference of how they, uh, they clear and how they, they come out. So this is a video will take it uh, probably 30 to, uh, days or more to uh, finish, but the goal is to show, okay, what does pectin enzyme do against just regular apple juice? Is I may end up doing this again and uh, doing it so on some un unfiltered apple juice and see what comes out, but I'm gonna start it with this and we're gonna see how much of a difference uh, pectin enzyme makes, if it makes any. For all I know, this is going to uh, prove that pectin enzyme isn't doing anything, and all three will look the same no matter what I do with them. So, But this is the starting of it. I've started pouring in apple juice into each of the ones, and I've started the first uh, cup of uh, apple juice and uh, that was heated up in the microwave for one minute. It, it is almost at the two-cup mark, or right under it. Looks like I may need a little add a little more sugar to it. But all three of these are going to have the same sugar or put in them so that they're going to be identical other than when I put the pectin enzyme in. So this is the way I like doing things and it really shows me how uh, things work and whether they're doing what uh, people say they're doing. So we'll see where we go from here. So looking at the first jug, I'm seeing that the uh, specific gravity is definitely a little bit past 1.6 or 1.06. It's the, I can definitely see green. I don't know if it's one line or two lines that I'm seeing there. Um, I have to look at the video later and get a better view on it. And then I may update the bottle, but I know that I'm definitely going to put on the bottle that starting gravity was 1.06. And I may add an additional number to it later on. But it's hard to tell when in there and seeing if it's actually where the uh, line is breaking at. Uh, so it's really hard to come up with the exact number, or it's, uh, but I know in the video I can zoom in and see a little more later, so we'll see if I end up faking the bottle or whether I just go with what I've got right here and keep it as a 1.06. So looking at the second jug, I would guess my specific gravity is almost perfectly at a 1.060. There's almost no green showing up, so I believe it's almost perfect at that. So at least that's what I'm gonna record on the bottle because I don't see any green. The other one I did see some green in, so I think the first jug is gonna be a little higher and I'm gonna have to look closer at the video and see if I can get an even better view of exactly where it was at, but this one, and I'm pretty sure is almost at a perfect 160. Looks like my third jug is also going to be just a little bit 
six one, maybe six two. Looking at it, it's just you can see a little bit of green, but not quite as much as you did on the first one. So I'm gonna put it down as as one point zero six one. I may change that based on looking at the videos a little closer on a bigger screen, but everything I can see right now puts it uh, just about that. Where I would say the first one was a little bit higher than both of these two, but they're all fairly close because I mean they're all 0 0.06, so that's at least close enough that I can get a good idea of where they're at. It's not precise, but I've not really been that precise on these for quite a while. So I now have all three of them um, finished. They all have a half a teaspoon of yeast nutrient that was put into them, and then I put in a about a teaspoon of, of SO4 yeast. So they're all the same on that. And the first jug over here, I will be labeling as starting with PE. So SPE or something like that is what I'm going to put on there. So the other two, or this one in the center, I think is going to be the one that when I rack it, I will add uh, the pectin enzyme, a teaspoon of pectin enzyme. And the last one, we're not going to add any pectin enzyme at all. So we'll see how they come out and whether or how they change or whether they clear or whether they do anything. So this is a good starting point. I can see that I've got good pressure on all three of them. And we'll see where it goes from there. So in reviewing my videos, I realized I did not record the temperature that the, everything was at. And I figured I'd go back and at least point out that it, I did label the bottles of SPE for starting pectin enzyme, RPE for racked uh, pectin enzyme, and NPE for no pectin enzymes. Current temperature down here is 68 degrees and 42% humidity. So I will try to make sure that when I record them every night, I record them with this information and I'll try to get this centered. And that will be what I try to do each night as I take a new photo or new video. So I'll try to get it just like this so that they're easy to compare side by side and see how they look. All right. So I think tonight is going to be the last night that I'm doing the pectin enzyme on the these three. My goal is that was originally to do this in a month, but as you can see based on the dates, it was 8-2 that I started this, and it is now October 5th. So life got in the way, and they're way behind on getting taken care of. But it is, I can, when I'm create the uh, rest of the video, you'll see that they cleared fairly quickly and they all cleared about the same. It didn't matter whether I had the pectin enzyme in it or not, even though the, uh, now they have set for uh, nearly two months since so they, they all have cleared very nicely. This is, seems to be the, uh, with the uh, standard app, member mark apple juice. They're going to clear whether I put pectin enzyme or, in it or not. We will see after I rack them whether it makes any difference. I will still put pectin enzyme into the bottle over here or when I get to after I rack them um, and when I set them for a week and see if it makes any difference. But as you can see right now, they're all three cleared very well. So I don't think it's going to make any difference for this uh, uh, juice itself. But my next batch, it will be doing Lewisburger cider. And that is very cloudy to begin with. And so we will see if there is any difference between putting pectin enzyme in the very beginning and in the, after I rack it or whether I don't use pectin enzyme at all. So, but at least for right now, I've at least figured out that I probably don't need pectin enzyme when it comes to uh, the regular apple juice cider. Or, but it, uh, based on what I'm seeing here, they didn't, it, it clears out uh, without much problems there. So that's where I'm at for right now. We will see after I rack them and make sure there's any additional information that I want to put with that. All right, so this is what 
that all three jugs look like just before we we're getting ready to rack them. The center one does look clearer than the other two, but I think it's because it's got the white wall behind it. I'm going to reset and we'll get a section with all of them with the white wall behind it. All right, so now I have the white wall behind all three bottles. I'm going to take an up close look at each one. And, well, try to keep the light and the shadows out of it. And I would say they're all three almost identical when it comes to the way they're colored and the clarity of them. There's no real difference between them. I am going to see record again after I rack them and we'll see how they look. And I may put the pectin enzymes in as I, a, uh, a rack the, uh, uh, right after I rack them into the first bottle and we'll see what happens from there. All right. All right, so I'm not sure what to think of this. I just finished racking all three of these and the one that has picked an enzyme is now cloudy. The other two are still very clear. I don't know if that's, they were not that way before it. So I'll compare the videos before that, but it's in, very interesting that the pectin enzyme ended up cloudy for, uh, after racking versus the other two being still very clear. So I'm going to let them sit for probably an hour or two and see if they're all cleared out the same then, because this one was probably a half hour or more ago that I actually racked it. This one's been sitting for at least 10, 15 minutes. And this one has only a couple minutes since I just finished racking it. So that was something I didn't expect to see. I expected them all to be still very clear after racking them. And it could just be I picked up sediment in the uh, one with pectin enzyme, and I didn't pick up any sediment with either the other two. But it's definitely something I didn't expect to see. So we'll see where we're at in a couple more hours. All right, so it is several hours later, and... This one is still cloudier than the other two, which is very bizarre. I would ex have expected either they would all stay clear or, or that that one should be the clearest. It's the one that has the pectin enzymes in it. The other two do not have any pectin enzymes. So I'm not sure what's going on here and I'm going to pull a uh, gravity on all three of them and see exactly where they're at and try to figure out what's going on. All right, so here is the one that had the pectin enzyme. I just spun it again to make sure I'm correct. It's about halfway across the blue. And I want to say the bottom of the blue is 1.0. So I'm getting towards being 0.99. Five. I'd say I'm somewhere about halfway between 0.995 and 1.0 on the pectin enzyme. So I guess that's a good thing. That means I've got rid of all the sugars out of it. But, uh, but that means it probably may be a little bit dry. But we'll see if that's what every all the other two went to or whether the pectin enzymes affected that. So looking at this one, I would actually say it's almost all the way to the top of the blue. There is not much left on there that I can see. It's all the way to the top of the blue. So I would actually say this one and um, ferment it out even more. So this is the first of the uh, bottles that did not have any pectin enzymes at the first racking. So they definitely did. There is a difference there. I am actually surprised because I wouldn't have expected the pectin enzyme to actually have made less fermentation, but that's what I'm seeing right now. So this one should be the control. So it was the one that I did not plan to put any pectin enzyme into. It's, I see a little bit more of the blue, but not much. So I'm basically saying it's made it, uh, all the sugars of, of, are out of it also, but it's a little bit less. 
not quite as much blue as what I think I was seeing on the uh, uh, one that had the pectin enzyme, but it, there's a l to me a little more than there was when I was looking at the uh, 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 the other bottle there. So this is part of the reason I had three of them, just so that I could easily uh, compare some of the stuff. When I do the video, I'll compare them even closer together side by side, and we'll see what comes out of that. But I'm surprised that to see that there actually is a difference in how much fermented out. They're definitely below 1.0, uh, so it means all the sugars have fermented out. There's no gravity left to it at all. But that was something I didn't expect. I uh, didn't expect the uh, uh, one with the pectin enzyme to, after rack, be a little more cloudy and also to not ferment as much. So that's something I didn't expect. So now I will put pectin enzyme into the uh, uh, second bottle and we'll, uh, I'll top each of them off and we'll see where it goes from there. So now that every, I've tested all of them and found out where their gravity is at, they are now uh, been all topped off brought to the uh, handle and I will leave them this way for the next uh, week or so and we'll see if they start or uh, if they take off again because of a little more apple juice or whether they uh, continue to be just about where they're at. If they are within a week I will cold crash them and see what happens but as of right now my one with the pectin enzyme is cloudy and the one that I just added pectin enzyme is not uh, is fairly clear and the one without pectin enzyme is probably a, a just as clear as the one that I just put pectin enzyme into. So this is turning out different than I expected. So we'll see where we're at in a week.